Hello everyone. Welcome to Tesca Technologies Private Limited. My name is Aryan Sharma and today we will learn about sedimentation tank apparatus. So let's start. So before going into the working of this apparatus, let's understand the components of this apparatus. So basically this apparatus comes in two units. First this control panel and this main unit which is sedimentation tank. So let's understand the sedimentation tank. So let's begin. This is the main unit, the sedimentation tank. Here, it is the sedimentation tank which stores the slurry and the, all the sedimentation process takes place in this tank. This is the slurry tank. In this tank, all the slurry is made with calcium carbonate and water. This is the stirrer which mixes the calcium carbonate and water and makes the slurry. This is electromagnetic sensor which flows, checks the flows of the slurry it has an inbuilt display and a sensor. This is the pump to flow the slurry into the sedimentation tank. To fasten the process, you can also attach a clear water source from behind the sedimentation tank apparatus. This is the flow meter to check the water flow and it will increase the sedimentation process. After getting the clear water, it will come out from this overflow tank and this drain. So let's come to the second unit of this apparatus the control panel. Here is the control panel of the sedimentation tank apparatus. It has an on off switch and a light indicator. So let's turn on the component. As you can see, this is the sedimentation tank. It will be written on the main display. In this control panel, you can turn on and turn off the pump, the stirrer, it will also show the water flow and the slurry flow. This is all for this control panel. Now let's see all the circuits near it. So here are all the important ports of this control panel. All these sensors and ports are marked here. Here is the pump, here is the stirrer, slurry flow, an electromagnetic sensor port and a water flow sensor. It, is, it has also has a RS32 USB port to connect this control panel to a computer and get all the data on your main computer. All these markings are also there on the main unit. You, can, you have to attach all the main unit components to this control panel to operate them. So let's start an experiment on this sedimentation tank apparatus. Let's remove the slurry tank. This is the slurry tank lid. You have to remove it before filling the slurry. Let's fill the slurry tank with some water. Now the water is filled in the slurry tank. We have to mix 20% of calcium carbonate in the slurry tank. If we have taken 10 liters of water, we have to mix 2 kgs of calcium carbonate. So there is water, some dirty water and some calcium carbonate in this slurry tank. Let's turn on the stirrer. As you can see, the stirrer is on and it has a gearbox attached to it. It will now mix the slurry with calcium carbonate. So now the slurry is prepared. Now let's turn on the motor, the pump and it will Take the slurry into the sedimentation tank. Before turning on the pump, you have to check the walls. Now this wall is closed. Let's turn it on. Here, all walls are fine. Let's turn this one also. Let's turn on the pump from this control panel. We can adjust the flow with this wall. This is an electromagnetic sensor. It has an inbuilt display and sensor. It shows the flow of the slurry. Now, as you can see, the sedimentation tank has started filling with slurry. You can adjust the flow with this lid. You have to unscrew this. Here, you can adjust the flow of the water and sedimentation process with this lid. 
So let's turn it a little bit down and screw them back. As you can see, the slurry is coming in this tank. Through this lid, all the clear water will come in this sedimentation tank. The sedimentation tank process will take place in this tank. All the heavy particles or the dirty particles will settle down in this tank. The clean water will come out through this overflow. This is the outlet pipe of the overflow. You can collect the product from this pipe. To take back the slurry into the slurry tank, you have to open this wall and all the slurry will drain into the slurry tank. With this experiment, we learn the basic principles of separation of solids from suspension in a sedimentation tank. Thank you. If you like the video, please hit the like button, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel.